show you how to use air server and screencast omatic together to record what you see on the actual um, iPad that way if you wanted to create tutorials based on the iPad you can record what you see on the iPad so I'm gonna go to screencast omatic and I've already created an account it is a free account um, up to 15 minutes and there will be a watermark um, if you'd like to get rid of the watermark and you want more time then um, it's $15 a year so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to start a new recording. Whenever you've launched this program on your computer, it's going to give you this bar at the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to just take this square and I am going to layer it on top of my air server screen. So here's my air server screen and this um, let me move this out of the way. This, my air server screen, which is this, this is what's back here. That's my actual iPad screen. So I'm going to take my screencast and I'm going to layer it on top of my, um, air service screen. Okay. And so what happens is now I can record only what's on my iPad screen. So if I wanted to give a lesson on Google Classroom, then I would just select Google Classroom. And if you notice, even though I'm not recording with Screencast-O-Matic, it's still picking up my voice. It would actually allow me to um, record what I'm doing on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button. And it'll give me a countdown. And then I can actually go into Google Classroom and I can create a video about Google Classroom from the iPad. Then when I'm finished, I'll hit the, the pause or stop button. If I don't like the recording, I'll hit the um, trash can. If I want to write in extra information during my recording, I'll hit the pencil. But for now, I'm just going to click done. And when I click done, I'm actually just going to upload it to Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I'm going to publish it. And once it's uploaded to Screencast-O-Matic, I can uh, copy the link and actually use the link to access the video. So I'm just going to take the link that I copied and I'll paste it. And that way I skip the step of uploading it to Google Drive. And there's my video about my iPad. And then I can actually go into Google Classroom. And I can create a video about Google Classroom from the iPad. Then when I'm finished...